Hello there, Ray here, and today I will be showing you how you can use my invulnerable ender crystal wither cage to be able to break blocks automatically, such as in this cobble generator farm. I first showed this type of wither cage in my obsidian farm, and people ask if it's possible to use this type of wither cage for other things, such as a cobble generator, and it is possible to use the wither to break any type of block they want to. So right here I have it connected up to a simple cobblestone generator, and the wither is breaking the cobblestone, allowing you to get infinite amounts of cobblestone automatically. The wither cage consists of a wither in the center of two ender crystals, which will not explode. These ender crystals can be acquired in vanilla survival, which I have explained before in a previous video, which I will link in the description. Now the wither himself is being held down, uh, pushed down onto this block here. He's being pushed down by these boats, which are holding him down. There's uh, three stacked boats here, which are holding him. And the boats, as well as the wither's hitboxes, are connected right here in this corner here. You can see that it's not a very big area, but the hitboxes are connected so that they're colliding with each other so the wither cannot escape because he cannot fly upward with the boats pushing down on him. Now there is three boats here to prevent the boats from flying upward. So if the boat on the bottom would be hit with a wither skull, it would not be broken, but it would wobble and try to fly upward. And by having three boats stacked on top of each other, the bottom boat will not be able to fly upwards with other boats pushing down on it. Now the wither himself is looking at two different targets. The main head, which is the big head right here, is looking downward at this iron golem right here. And the side heads, which are on either side of him, are using the main head's eyes, but they are currently looking over here at this iron golem over here. And when they're trying to see this iron golem, they're also trying to shoot at it. So you can see that they are summoning in their black wither skulls from either side. And this guy, he's shooting outward, but he's hitting the ender crystal, which are causing his heads to explode. And this guy is doing the same thing, but when he tries to shoot his heads, he shoots them kind of downward towards the iron golem. But when they explode, they explode near the center of the wither, which causes the wither to take damage. And when the wither takes damages, he will be able to break blocks around him. And he's breaking a 4x3x3 by three by three area around the wither, which allows him to destroy these blocks. And right here we have a simple cobblestone generator, which is producing cobblestone. And he's breaking the cobblestone, and it's getting collected by these hoppers here. And we have hoppers in the center underneath of these uh, cobble walls, as well as inside of this block here. And these hopper minecarts are also picking up the items, and they're placing them into this chest here, which you can use later. One of the simplest ways to actually push items into the wither is from above. So right here we have some blocks being pushed in. They're pushed in at the length of the piston which can push, which is 12 meters. This way the blocks will not be able to get pushed down too far and prevent the wither from seeing his target. So right here we have the wither and he's looking with this red line right here. And he's looking down over at this iron golem's red line as well. And we don't want to block the view of that from the wither. So this way we don't want the blocks to come down any farther than what they are right here. If they would come down one more meter farther, then the wither would not be able to actually see that target over there. And therefore the side heads would not be able to shoot the iron golem. And therefore the side heads would not be able to cause explosions near the center of the wither. And the wither would not be able to break blocks and he would just prevent the wither from continuing on. It also caused wither to not see the target and therefore the side heads would start shooting off blue wither skulls, which we do not want to happen. Now what we have here is just a simple cobblestone generator which just has some water as well as some lava and a timer that's going around and causing a pulse which is pushing the blocks downward whenever it's possible. This way the blocks can be pushed in about 5 meters worth of blocks can be pushed in here and they're all the way around the wither but we can't push blocks in from this area here because we have the boats over here and the cobble walls also take up some room as well. Now we're pushing the blocks downward if the blocks would not have anything or if these ender crystals would not have anything to support them, the blocks would be able to push the ender crystals downward. And we do not want the ender crystals to get pushed downward. And that's why we have this cobble wall here, which is 1.5 meters tall, which is actually holding these ender crystals from being able to get pushed by the cobbles that's getting pushed downward. We also have a cobble wall over here as well, preventing the ender crystal from moving downward. Now in this way, we can safely have the wither sitting in the center, even if the wither would be able to turn and his side heads would be over here and he would try to shoot that iron golem over there, his wither skulls would clip the side of this ender crystal here. This way it's safe to have the wither in this position here. Since the wither only needs this area to see his iron golem target over there, you could actually fill in the rest of this area with any type of blocks that you want to be pushed in as well. So you push this whole area, fill in in front of him as well. As well as on the side over here, you could put blocks in here as well. Now the only problem is that if you would want to push in blocks from the side, 
if you those blocks are being pushed, they will also push these ender crystals. And since there's nothing to hold these ender crystals in place, they would be moved backwards. If you would try to put a block like a skull back there to hold the ender crystals, this block is within side of the area which the wither can destroy blocks, which would cause the block to just get removed. Now you can sit in shulker boxes and have them being opened. This would work, but it would complicate things by uh, quite a bit more. But if you do want to just move blocks in from the side, you could have something back here holding the ender crystals and they would just move half a meter. In this way, the ender crystals would be in that direction a little bit farther, which when the wither would happen to turn sideways, if he wants to, he normally will not be turned sideways because he's facing his target over here. But if he did, then his black wither skulls would be shot from this area over here and they could actually hit the iron golem over there. So what you would want to do is place in some blocks here to prevent the wither skulls from ever reaching the iron golem. Even though he can see the iron golem from this angle here, the black wither skulls would not actually be able to reach iron golem. This way it would be fairly safe to operate the farm by having the items being pushed in from the side. The way that you start the wither up is like my previous one where you have the two targets out here and the ender crystal centered on where the wither will be summoned. You got the wither set up and all you have to do is come in here and push in this block here and this block is just pushed in by a piston and then you want to stack your boats in and the way that you get your boats in here is just by coming in here and placing your boats above. If you center or if you click in the center of a block, the boat will stay towards the center of the block and this way it will be more likely be able to fit inside of these cobble walls here. Now you do want to make sure the boats don't clip through any of these cobble walls so you want to get inside each of the boat and ride it. Then you get done with that you want to come in here and push in a uh, top slab here. So we got a top slab then we just come in here and put a piston and push it in here. Now that will prevent the boats from getting pushed upwards. Now we got everything we needed to get the wither started. Now to summon in the wither all you have to do is come up to the wither here. Now you can do this in survival mode. I am in hard difficulty. And we got one block back there on the back side of him. And we want to put some blocks on the other side of him as well once we get him summoned. And we just got his skull as well as bucket of water as well as some blocks used to block off these areas so the wither doesn't move around as well as the wither does not destroy the hopper minecarts down there. So we come in here, put in our last skull, and we'll try to put in a blocks on all sides of him. Then we come in and place a bucket of water inside of his head there. Now we just want to leave the area so that the wither can actually see us. And so we can come down here. Now if we go back up there again, we can see that the wither is still back in his area. And the iron golems are both sides of him. Don't worry if the iron golem gets some water on him. Now the wither has removed the blocks around him as well as the water source and now he's in the perfect position. Now in this position the wither cage is stable so you can leave the area and unload the chunks and when you come back the wither will be able to stay in the same position and he'll be able to find his targets again and this way it is a stable wither cage as long as you keep these parameters which is that you want the wither to be able to see his side target here. You don't want any other side targets to be any closer to him than this one is here and you want to keep his main head target here as well so that main head can actually see his main head target but he's able to be closer to it. Now you also want to keep everything all the entities within the same chunk so here we pull F3 and G you can see that this shows a chunk and you can see that both of the iron golems as well as the wither and the boats and the ender crystals are all within inside of the same chunk this way when you load this chunk and it becomes entity processing chunk all the entities will load at the same time and the wither will be able to find his targets correctly this way we'll keep the wither cage stable as well with this simple cobblestone generator up here and this wither setup you can produce around 7500 items per hour but you can use this for whatever you want you can push in logs or stone or mushroom blocks if you want to or whatever type of blocks you want the wither to destroy the most limiting factor is the time it takes the wither to self damage himself now if you would have this setup in your spawn chunks which are always loaded on a server so this would actually be capable of running 24 7 able to produce cobble out of it you may notice that when some of the cobblestone comes into the wither and gets broken, if the cobblestone happens to be moving as the wither breaks it, it will come up as a magenta and black texture instead of the cobblestone texture. And this is just because of the cobblestone being in block 36 form when the wither breaks it. And since block 36 does not have any texture, it just comes up as the default texture, which is that. Now, when you do break these blocks, they will be collected by the hoppers and they will just turn into normal cobblestone. So that's what's happening there. The world download to this world is in the video's description so that you can see exactly where to place all the items. There you have it guys, how to use my invulnerable ender crystal wither cage for other farms such as this. So if you found this interesting, show me the like. If you'd like to see more neat contraptions like this, subscribe. If you have any questions, be sure to comment. Bye bye!